water and electric meters something very simple very quick to do here in the philippines they have people come around and check them they're not electronically done surprise surprise <laughs> considering the internet is often very abysmal um but they often can't find the meters because the philippines has a high turnover of staff so what you'll find is the guy that you had last month <laughs> knew where the meter was and this month somebody else is there and he doesn't know where to look he doesn't ask anybody because he's got hundreds of these bloody things to find so what he turns around and does he just writes a figure down and this is how you get spikes in your electric bill and your water bills because they haven't actually read the meter so a bit of advice is actually do a bit of research find find the guy when he comes past if you're finding that your bill's shooting up for some reason because you'll very likely he's never read the the meter because he doesn't know where it is uh, which also helps if you're buying a property to find out where your meters are <laughs> or renting because uh, the same problem happens regardless because if you if you go around the philippines you'll see that tons of water meters they're just like stacked up um i don't know how they tell the difference between them but the that will save you money um by being able to identify them uh, another quick tip on electric air conditioning costs me if i run it one unit uh, one horsepower unit uh, between half and one horsepower unit cost me between 1500 and two and a half thousand pesos if you run it during the day because um, generally I switch them off at night. If I run them 24 hours, my bills go up to 8,000 plus. Uh, get an electric fan. I was finding with just electric fans running and the fridge and TV, my electric bill was 300 pesos a month. <laughs> Thanks for watching.